feel Ain't this a real nigga demonstration Those enough, I ain't got time for waiting Females tell me everything that the homie be saying Watch who you bring for occasion I was in love, I ain't gon' cap I was in love with my sin They don't really fuck with me Now I write pain on my pen Hard to let the love in Alright y'all, welcome to the new JoJo Films interview series It's the first episode And we got a special guest with Nick Reed and he's a SoundCloud artist up and coming. Tell them where you from, man. I'm from Victorville, California. Okay, you from Victorville, California. Let them know where that's located. A lot of people don't know where that's at. Man, that's born. Uh, like, let them know where it's born, by and that's stuff. Located in uh, San Bernardino. Yeah, San Bernardino, San Bernardino County. County. Yeah. Who would you say, like, in the area? Did you ever see anybody in the area of Victorville, California, or just in San Bernardino County, influence you or inspire you? Like, okay, they they rapping like in school or even on social media. My brother. Mmm. Your so brother? My brother. Okay, okay. H2O. Y'all go tap in with him. H2O? H2O. Okay, 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 okay. All right. It was hard. You feel me? could have signed some shit. I mean, but I guess it wasn't the path for him. So he stopped doing it. All right, all right, all right. So with all this rap and stuff, what would you say like motivates you to keep going? Like what makes you think of it more than just a, a little pipe dream or anything? What makes you think like you could actually do it? What motivates you? Just the people that I've been around, you feel me? Like my dad been in the music industry for a long time. And I've been around singers that have been at the next level, you feel me? Like signed to major levels like um, Epic Records, Universal. Um, Atlantic, all that shit. Okay, so, okay, okay. You feel like it's just in you. And he sent shit. My dad, the one who sent my shit out, you feel me? He sent it to the record labels and they sent it back like, oh, this nigga got, um, this nigga got talent. You feel me? He could do this, he could do that. You feel me? He's doing better than most of these artists out here. So that's what really motivated me to keep going. You feel me? Take this shit serious. When you heard it from the label, like. Yeah, I heard it from the label. I was like, okay. Okay, okay, that made you feel official. But the labels call also sell you dreams, you feel me? The label ain't no joke, you feel me? That shit is ran by, by the But dope. when you know that label yeah. fucking with you, that's when you know you can do it by your own, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. What would you say is like, uh, sorry to cut you off or anything, but what would you say is like your creative process in music? Like, when you're making your songs and all that and you go into your mode, like your artistic mode, like, what turns you into that? Like, what we say, what steps you take to make a good song? Just think about... Just think about my past, you feel me? Okay. Like shit that didn't happen to me. <laughs> okay. Nah, all like shit that didn't happen to me, you feel me, in my life. Like, that shit wasn't no joke, you feel me? I got people passing, like, <laughs> passing like time, you feel me? Mm hmm. People dying every day. Mm hmm. Shit ain't no joke. So it's just like, I gotta keep myself conscious, you feel me? And I gotta take care of my business and give back to the world, you feel me? Okay. So I got something for you. Living inside of California, you feel me? I'm, I, I'm, I done been around here for a minute, but you feel me? I'm, I'm all around. I be hearing people like from outside of Cali and they perspective. What would you say like for somebody like that's never been to California and especially in your area? What, what would you say like is the places you, you should go, you shouldn't go? Just like a bit, of, a bit of analysis of like your area or whatever. Uh, for sure, don't go to the Brentwoods. The Brentwoods. I just said the. You say I didn't. I didn't mean to just make the beer. I was just saying. I was just saying. I was just saying. This nigga. Over there. Oh, and oh, out of that, so you feel me deep in the in the Goonies, no cap. Like when you don't see no more buildings, then oh, out of that, so. <laughs> what's what's um some of your like inspirations in the music and like what were some of the first like music you was hearing? Whether it was uh anything, any genre really, just. What influenced you and in, like I like music a lot and I think I could pursue this. Well, my parents is old as old as fucking dust. You feel me? So, nigga, I grew up on like Temptations, Marvin Gaye. You feel me? Uh, a little Michael Jackson. Michael, Michael goes crazy. That's my favorite artist of all time. Michael Jackson. That's who influenced me. Bro. Just seeing the way that nigga took over. You feel me? Um. You was watching his music videos. Hell yeah. You was trying to dance yeah, like him. All the dance moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Let's see this up. Uh, uh, you just yeah. bop with your knees. You was not Mike. No, okay. But uh, but um, besides that, besides that, besides that. So 
with just going up in the area and all that, who do who do you think like anyone would you work with? Would you work with anyone in your area? Oh, yeah, like my nigga Cam for sure. What? Cam is hard as fuck. Yeah. Okay. That okay. He got it. He nigga. got it. Oh my mom, he got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's real. Oh, and my cousin right here. You feel me? Hey, don't sleep on that man. Real sure. Oh my mom. Shout yourself out, Tego. Uh, go follow me at Oak Boy Neff. Yeah. Can't even see you for real. Put the flash on your face. Oh boy, Neff. All right, man. You rap. Let you me hear a little something right now. Can't do that for yeah. you. Okay, can I get an acapella? Hey. I see angel numbers roll up this ganja, this shit my medication Starving me, my family, he just need some dedication Work my ass off for a life while I can sit back, get some heady bacon Watch these niggas, they snacking, always get the rack and sit back I'm running, chasing meals, niggas dying off pills I know my money feel good, we scared the love and that's real Bench play, how the fuck he dying to feel? Ain't this a real nigga demonstration? Dozing off, I ain't got time for waiting Females tell me everything that the homie be saying Watch who you bring for occasion I was in love, I ain't gon' cap, I was in love with my sin They don't really fuck with me, not right pain on my pen Hard to let the love in what the fuck with my kin? You can't trust the closest ones. How you get killed by your twin? They ain't yeah. say they fuck with you, but they really don't. Niggas saying they will kill for you, but they really won't. Come on, gon' speak a phone. Ask him when he coming home. Pray when he get out, he don't get hot and turn the oven on. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's all. Hey, yo, that's some shit for real. Hey, hold on. But besides hold that, on. besides that, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question for you. What? Like, but like, do you ever find it um hard not ever playing into this persona with rap? You know, it seems like everybody in this rap game, you know, has an op. You know, it's a gangbanger block or something like that. You know, you got to be a tough guy. You got to be a gangster. Do you ever feel like you have, have to no, play into nah, that role? Or do you nah. feel like you can ever just be yourself and show people you got nah, feelings? bro, I just show, I show my true self, you feel me? I ain't shit to hide, you feel me? Okay. I don't have that much time on this earth. Okay. You never know when you're going to go. Exactly. So why waste it being, a, being yeah, something you're not? Being negative. Bro. Exactly. And being, being negative, putting bad into the world. Yeah, I feel I'm a, you. I'm a positive, bad Bad rapper, you feel me? I'm a positive. And that's why I mess with you. That's why I mess with you. That's why I play your music and let niggas know. We used to be throwing rocks at niggas like, wow, busting shit. You feel me? Running out the store, stealing snicker bars, all that. Like, man, you can't rap about that, but you're not glorifying. You're not glorifying nothing, and that's and that's what's cool. Back into the world, you feel me? We already got enough. Man, how long you been trying to rap? Like, when did you drop your first chart? Like a year ago. A year ago? Then when is that when you started going to the studio? I dropped the, the first track like um, nine months ago. Okay. Yeah. You think you could describe to me like your first time going into the studio? Yeah, I was nervous and shit, boy. I stepped in the booth, I was choking, like on my mama. Niggas was nervous as Dang, shit. why'd you get in there? Did you just go in your head like I'm gonna go to the studio by myself or did somebody influence you like you should come with me? The first time I went to the studio, I didn't record a song, you feel me? I just went up in there, you feel me? I was just fucking around, testing it out, testing how my voice would sound on the shit. That's how I was practicing, you feel me? Okay. So, the actual first time I went to the studio and recorded a song, I went to Major Works, you feel me, over there in the Brentwood. You don't go over there. You don't go over there. Where you at, man? This nigga goof. <laughs> this nigga stay your ass where you get oh, shut the I, I went over there, nigga. One take, I did memories, you feel me? One take, I was done. I was out of there, in and out, on my mama. Okay. Then I did the little ad-libs, and I was done. Okay, I okay, so in your first time going to the studios, you made your biggest song right now at 13K views. That was the first time you went to the studio. Yep. Oh, my goodness. First That's song. crazy. First song. That's crazy. That's crazy. First song, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So with your music, is there any type of lane that you want to get into that you see yourself into? Like, what, what would you say? Mm, more like conscious, you feel me? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap. Okay. You start going crazy. Okay, man. okay. I mean, I mean, not Jake. My fault. I'm tweaking. You know, this this little uh, Moscato got me tweaking. But uh, besides that, motherfuckers. Um, so you you will work with Michael Jackson on 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 a, on a single? Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, okay, no. okay, okay. Michael Jackson and Nick Reed on a single. Give me Michael. You gonna dance with him in the music what? video? Like you gonna I'm pay that extra crazy, price? Fool. What? Okay. Stop playing. Okay, 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 okay. And then one one last question I have for you is um, what is your one message you want to leave with the people watching this video? Stay true to yourself. You feel me? Don't try to switch your lane. You feel me? Just stay on the. Listen to your mommy, your dad too, nigga. Oh, my mama. A lot of y'all don't listen to your mommy, your dad. Take your parents seriously, you feel me? They'll guide you the right way on me. 
for the ones who don't have the parents, I'm sorry to hear that, you feel me? But, and yeah, it's always a way in this world, you feel me? You can find that shit. So keep going. Hey, I really thank you. This is a good ass interview, a very good first interview. And I really thank you, Nick Reed. Uh, if, if, if Where can I go get that new music? Where can I follow you for the posts about All new platforms. music? All platforms, you feel me? Is What, what is it? Um, what is it? Nick Reed. Nick Reed. <laughs> all caps and it's all together. All but together. The I, you feel me? It's an exclamation point. Okay, so I and might have to change that shit in the future. So just tune in. Okay. Me? But you can add me on Instagram at Nick Motherfucking Reed. But that's Nick M F Reed. You feel me? Okay, and Nick M F Reed. And yeah. it's